I'm Bob Harris, president of the Decorative Concrete Institute. When it comes to creating contraction joints in your fresh slab of concrete, there are generally a couple of ways to go about it. Certainly you can hand tool them the day of the pour when the concrete's still fresh using a, either a hand groover or hand joiner, a walking groover, or a torpedo groover. The other consideration would be a cutoff saw. A cutoff saw is very effective, especially on stamped concrete where you have heavy detailed depth or texture. Think about it, you couldn't use a traditional walk-behind saw because the walk-behind saw would literally be going uh, down into the, the nooks and the crannies of the stamp depression. So this is very effective. Now remember, in order for it to be a true working contraction or control joint, it needs to be cut uh, a quarter of the slab's overall thickness. So an example of that, if you have four inch thick concrete that you've poured, one quarter of four inches would be one inch. So make sure that you're in fact cutting this one inch deep in order for that concrete to crack. The way that the saw works is typically you want to hit the choke button over here uh, for cold starts especially. If it's cool out you're going to hit the choke on then you're simply going to come back over here. I do like to go ahead and give it a little bit of gas just to uh, kind of prime everything. And you'll notice here we have the start button. It needs to go onto the start button and you notice like that. And then once it locks into start, we simply come over here and pull it. And once it's running, then we adjust the choke. So it's a very effective tool for cutting your uh, contraction joints into the concrete. Come on, I'll show you how it's used. When using the cutoff saw to establish your contraction or your control joints, what I like to do is after I've chalked my line down, I'll use a nice uh, straight edge. In this case, a 1x6 or a 1x8 works great. Make sure you sight down to uh, see that it is in fact nice and straight, but this will be my guide. And the fact that it's a 1x6 or a 1x8, it allows me to walk across this. Um, had I used a 2x4, it's hard to, to rest up on top of the 2x4 as you walk across it. So I'll simply bring it right to the edge. It is a good idea to have a person on the opposite end stand on it uh, just to, just to uh, help support it as you go along. So what we'll do is we'll just scribe the saw cut, we'll remove the straight edge, and then I'll come back with uh, my predetermined scribed cut, and then I'll go ahead and, and saw cut the, the required depth, um, a quarter of the slab's depth, all right? Remember, this is a high performance tool. The diamond blade is spinning at a very high RPM. You can see I have my uh, OSHA approved respirator that's uh, specifically for capturing the airborne dust particulate and at a minimum, proper air, uh, eye protection. Let's show you how it works. For you decorative concrete stamp contractors, there's nothing that looks worse to have a contraction joint go right across the pattern. Now I realize that some patterns, inevitably you gotta saw cut your, uh, your contraction joints across a specific stone, but here's a great example of a wood grain stamp pattern. Why would we want a contraction joint here when we have a joint right here? So take advantage of your stamp pattern when it's applicable. Remember, to get the most out of your tools, use them properly, and more importantly, use them safely. I'm Bob Harris.